Okay, so we got a little section of whoops here, a few blocks long. We've done it both. I've done it on the 250 and the 300, same with Sam. We both felt a little bit more comfortable on these whoops on the 250. Gonna go take it through another time. I'm gonna go in fourth gear. So I'll start here in a second, shift up to third, hit fourth through these things. For a second, third, fourth. Again, I'm on the 250, and it just seems, it seems to want to, wow, just stay up on top of things. I'm loving it, loving the power. I've got the two bikes set up the exact same and the two bikes don't feel identical. For whatever reason, I feel like I'm able to stay whew, a little bit more up on top of stuff on the 250. See if I have that same experience going back this time. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Again, this isn't bad, this is hammer. Yeah, that was good. So, whew, that's a lot of work. Uh, yeah, this bike, the 300 just isn't staying. I don't know, there's something about that 250, the way that motor is, the way that the power is delivered. It's hard for me to put my finger on, but going through those whoops back there, I prefer the 250. So I just kind of said my piece. What did you think about the difference between the two? So. I don't know why, but when you're in the upper gears, the way the power band is, and right where it delivers the meat of the good powder, like power, the controllable power, is where this thing shines in the, on, on that. Whoops. Just because it just has the right amount of power without lopping the front wheel and losing your momentum, just to stay up in the power, in the traction, and on top of them. I think we should go back to the truck and I should take off the shirt I have underneath this. <laughs> yeah, I took mine off because I was like, it's going to get hot, so I don't have mine off. Okay, off we go. To quickly sum up the experience that we had, uh, the 250, when you'd get it out on the whoops, it was just like begging you to go faster. It's like, hey, why don't you just uh, go a little faster? Why don't you click up a gear and twist the throttle a little more? We'll be good. Whereas on the 300, it was just kind of saying, hey, this is cool, this is fun, yeah, this, this is a good speed. It wasn't begging you to go faster, but the 250 was just enticing you to go faster, saying, hey, we'll be totally fine if you just go a little faster. It was, it was really fun to see those subtle differences between the two motors. And I know that the rear shock wasn't set up identically between the two bikes. I figured that out after I got back, because the 300 was just kind of kicking around a little bit more. But throughout the day, we rode for three hours through different uh, obstacles and everywhere. And at any time that we came up to whoops, that 250 was just, it just, the power was just more suited for the whoops. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.